the U.S. terror threat level has jumped entirely up the color-coded scale. You know how you are always thinking, well I should not cut off that scary redneck following me with his high beams on, because he's probably got about a hundred guns with him and has spent the past twenty years looking for a reason to use them all? You were right. You can't even be paranoid in this country because it is absolutely full of very angry people who, based on their complete lack of talent or education, believe they should personally be in charge of everything. And if anyone anywhere says, oh come on, let's not be such idiots, then the gravely offended nobodies just announce that they will start killing all their invented opponents, haha, <laughs> free speech. It is the part of the Constitution that is occasionally popular, I mean it's no Second Amendment but sometimes we act like it. Isn't IT surprising to find so many allegedly intelligent people jabbering incoherently today about political discourse and civility in the commons or whatever, and not about the terrifying fact that crazy people throughout this doomed country have immense stockpiles of guns and ammo, and are using it against all of us, at the supermarket? But that would be like running up to the U.S. Constitution in a strip mall and shooting it through the preamble or something, we guess, to even mention that the main thing America has given to world culture in the past half century is the lone nut mass murderer. Along with the big gulp and chicken McNugget, the psychotic killer with his legally purchased arsenal is the U.S. equivalent of Mozart. This is our national art being crazy people who are easily riled up and misled about everything. Here is some civil discourse for you. Give the whole doomed nation of illiterate slobs to the Chinese and hope maybe the Chinese can make some kind of profitable enterprise out of this human disaster. Somebody please wipe my memory, like they did to C-3PO.